How do you mirror sketches, bodies, and features in Fusion 360? Coming up. Hey, this is Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. Today we're going to be talking about sketch mirroring and mirroring in the component. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so why do we mirror? Well, one really good reason is because we're lazy, right? So um, when I sketch this shape and bring in this ellipse, what I want to do is bring it across symmetrically in this, uh, in this sketch, but um, I want it to be intelligent too. So when I sketch this line, let's make it vertical, make sure that it goes up and down, and I'm going to right click and make this a construction line so that we can mirror right across that. So the sketch mirror only exists or shows up when you're editing a sketch. So if I jump into this back into this sketch, now the sketch mirror is going to be available. And I'm going to choose the object. One thing to be careful of is when you do select everything, sometimes you'll get some extra geometry in uh, in the mirror that you didn't really want. So I'm going to select that object and the mirror across or the mirror line is right here. And that's a good giveaway. It's a line. It's not a plane. It's not a face that we're mirroring when we're doing sketches. That's a good tip or hint is that you're using a line. So it comes across. And one thing you want to note is, is this tied to each other? right? Do they talk to one another? And they do. There's this symmetric constraint. And I love that about doing mirrors is that it's actually intelligent going forward. It's not just a one-time thing. So try to use mirrors for that reason alone to keep that symmetric constraint. Right? Cool. So that's for sketch mirroring. If we extrude this entire shape, Okay, so what I want to do now is mirror across this entire body rather than come back to the sketch and mirror everything and then extrude it, I can actually just mirror the entire body. I'm going to do that S key, mirror, and I'll select not faces, but come down and choose body. Okay, so we'll select the object and we're going to select this plane. It mirrors across. You can notice the preview, it's missing the holes, but it does solve it correctly. And in another video, I talked about how to combine these together. You can see there's this little seam, and in the bodies folder, I've got two. So I'm going to use the combine command just to clean this up. Join the two bodies together. Now it's a seamless one body. Great. I've started creating a piston. So what I want to do is I'm creating this piston and I'd like to do an extruded cylinder inside. I'll use the section analysis to look inside so I can kind of get a better view of this. And I'm going to use a plane that's an offset of this plane, get the right distance. Start the sketch. And I'll sketch a circle. There's the boss, and I'll dimension down to the origin. And does it move? When it still moves, I still need to add a constraint between the two points. So let's say that those run vertical with each other. Great. And I'm going to extrude this. And we don't want to do a cut, but rather a join. It's adding geometry. And I'd like it to go until it hits this wall. So that way it completes there. Terrific. OK, so in order to turn off that analysis, I can go to the analysis folder or the section and turn that off. OK, so I also want to do a hole. And I could have done that in the same sketch. Now, the reason you can split those up or might want to is so that you've got two different things to control when you're uh, editing it later. That can be advantageous. OK, so we've got the. The bore and the hole looks good. Now, how do I bring that across this body into the other side? So let's do the mirror. So we're now mirroring a body. We're not doing a sketch. And it's not the entire body, but rather I want to mirror some 
features. Okay, so I'm going to mirror some features. And because I'm working with solids, I'm going to need a plane. Do I have a plane that runs in the middle? I happen to. Mirror plane, select that. And then the objects I want, I'm going to go down to the tree. And I'm going to choose the cylinder cutout and the solid in this case, not just um, the cut or the solid, I would need both. And then there's that computing option I talked about in my pattern video. So when I hit OK, it's going to resolve that and move that over. So it's mirrored it across, and there we go. So when it comes to the different compute options, optimized, identical, and adjust, when I jump into the help and look at the more information, um, if you actually go to the pattern dialog, you can see on the rectangular pattern, they actually kind of call it out. And this is a good example. I, sometimes you have to reference this when it's been a little while. So optimized is the ideal one for high quantities. Identical, it's literally solving the exact same shape. Um, so if you were doing an extrude that calculates to the distance, identical may not work for you. You'd need to use what's called the adjust option where it is solving each feature each time but as you can guess that is kind of compute intensive so when we try identical this should solve very quickly but hopefully is there a hole and a bore it looks great then that's that's terrific but does optimize provide the same value. So when we do optimize, you can see it's not solving for the whole. So optimize is not going to work in my case. I need that compute to happen and do an identical. So kind of interesting on that one. What about those times you need to do a left and right hand side of a design, right? So if we have this shape that's going to look kind of different depending on what its orientation is. So we'll extrude this shape. Reuse that sketch. So I've got, let's say this is the right-hand version of the design. So what I'll do is mirror this body across the plane. We'll use this plane on the side here. So we're going to do a body, mirror plane. And we want to be careful in this case where we now have two bodies. And I can now hide the original. And so there's my left and there's my right. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.